Chris Colon. It is the uh, first of January, 2023. We're past, past the holidays, Chris. Obviously, it's go time. So it's a moving day, as they'd say on a golf course. If you had a chance to kind of you know reconcile the holidays, and now we're here. Yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, coaches are ready. Players are ready. Uh, guys took care of themselves over break. Guys that were injured took care of themselves. Guys that uh, were not injured moved forward. Uh, coaching staff did everything we needed to do to be ready to go, and, and uh, it's time to put the plan to action. When you come back from a long hiatus as this is, what do you? What's the first week or so? What's 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 this week and next week going to look like for the Titans? Uh, a lot of testing and stick work. A lot of testing and physicality. A lot of testing and just uh, strength. Uh, we we get at. We see where they're at. Give me an idea of testing. We were t- referring to running testing. Um, uh, you know, catching, throwing, ca- uh, testing, you know, we, uh, every drill is a test, right? So uh, while we're playing, we're also testing them. If a good player doesn't score well on a physical test, does that count towards uh, uh, Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. I mean, come on, they have to be in shape to play, right? So this is more than an eyeball. This is for you. It's a scientific, it's part of a scientific analysis and evaluation. We hope. Yeah, we hope. Okay. What's the most single, what's the most critical analysis in that of that group? Uh, you know, that's what, we're in a flow sport, right? So it's, each kid is different. So uh, we take a look where they were at and where they are now. So if they're growing, we're in good shape. If they're not growing, we got to reconcile that. I know you've done all you can to get ready for the 2023 season. Is there anything you're worried about? Everything. <laughs> okay. But is there, is, there, is there one thing that you know you don't have to worry about? Or is there something that maybe? Uh, well, we're traveling a lot this year. So that's something that you can't replicate and you can't train for you just got to do so we're going to start out we're going to notre dame there and back in a day we're going to university of indianapolis uh there and back in a day and then we get on a bus and go to vmi and that's the first competition what's the biggest thing you worry about on a trip like that when you're going someplace like to utah oh it's just it's just you know how do you hit that optimal performance at the right time with travel it's sleep all that stuff you know out with utah and air force altitude but i think in general when you're you know, tw- over 10 hours on a bus, you got to figure out how to do that. That's, that's, you got to learn how to do it. BMI first game, f- uh, February the 4th, coming yeah, up. We're, lo- we're looking forward to it. First, the question is when's the first day of practice? Coming back in January? January 9th. January 9th. So they got a little bit of time to get ready. And uh, VMI is a MAC team that you played last year. A very unusual game. Is that fair? <laughs> One of the most unusual games I've ever been a part of. We started out slow. They, they came up and, and took a huge lead on us, and we, Took a deep breath and we came back and we beat them. And they're, I'm sure we are marked on their schedule. Uh, VMI, they're a great opponent, great coaching staff. Uh, we're looking forward to go down there. It's a great venue to play in. Um, so we're just looking to get on the bus, go down there, and, and do the best we can. Does it help to play in a little warmer weather than it might be up here? That's why we're going. <laughs> going down that way. VMI is a good test to start with your second game, then you open at home. No, you, you're still on the road for your second we're game. still on the road. Then we're going to get on the bus and, and uh, go to High Point. That's right. John Torpy's team, which is uh, obviously a very good program and well-coached. Yep, yep. very good. Same thing. We're looking forward to do it. And uh, it will get us ready for that conference when we're going to be on the bus. Our first conference game is against Mercer. That's down the road. Does the ASEN conference then sort of require you to play better non-league games? Um, you know, uh, yes. I mean, we're, we're happy that we can. We're happy that we have Notre Dame scrimmage. We're happy that we have an Ohio State game uh, on the schedule. So you know, those games will get us ready. Okay, are you ready this season to play the, at the level that you're playing now that you've had a year to look at the ace on? Uh, we're still growing into it. So we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can, and um, I'm looking forward to be better than we were last year. As you grow, what are the components that you have to think about in recruiting to look for those type of players? Uh, skill, size, smarts, um, and, and potential. Is it just better players? Better players, yeah. Okay. Of that part, and I'm, I guess if I'm looking at home, is speed, is it ID, is it the way you look at you know, the field, or is it, I guess, a combination of all those things? I think what's, uh, the way the game is going, if you want a general question, it's, it's skill and speed combinations. Okay, so IQ helps, but if you're five foot three, it doesn't necessarily help no, in the lead. You're in. If you're five foot three and you can, and you're strong and, and you're fast, and you can get that goals done. I mean, BJ Grilly is best defenseman ever, right? Right. So, <laughs> right. That's for sure. All right. Well, best of luck. Thanks, man.